On today's episode of the Halloween 365 podcast, we're all on death row and we get to pick our last meals. It's coming. Leave me alone. He doesn't believe me. Don't you know what happens on Halloween? Welcome back to the Halloween 365 Podcast. It is the only podcast where you're going to find horror 24-7 in Halloween 365. That is correct. Ooh, we got a nice, delicious mm, episode My mouth's today. watering just We're thinking all... about it. Oh, Your it's like a watering. gully washer it's in watering. there. Woo! Yes, a gully, a gully washer. washer. We're all sitting down. We're all sitting down and having the last meals of some famous serial killers. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm not going to be able to finish all of mine, but I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it nonetheless. Uh, some of it will be easier to swallow than the rest of it will, but we're going to give you a backstory on these killers as well as their last meals. Uh, for those of you that are new to the show, because we know that we've got a lot of new fans out there, I am Justin. The man before me was Chad. The man with the goatee is Jeremy. Hello. <laughs> the yeah. goat. Go- goatee. He's the goat. <laughs> Call me Black Phillip. You know, he's the goat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Black Phillip, Black Phillip. Black Phillip. Yeah. Uh, well, we got some really, really cool stuff coming at you. Uh, today is our first episode that we've had in a long time where we didn't have a guest on the show, so yeah, it feels yeah, kind of nice. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it feels kind of nice. Yeah, and that's not hating to any of you guests. Really we stress. love you. No, right now, no. But now we, get to, now we get to slow the pacing down and uh, get back to the, the normal show that uh, we've been trying to craft. So I guess the fans that have been listening the whole time, the ones that have stuck around... Uh, they'll enjoy this episode. Yeah. And the new fans I too. So. The new I fans think that's too. A fair because assessment. remember, this is for the love of the game. This is two years love of the game, baby. This is Halloween every week. Two years love of the game. If you haven't already, go ahead. Be sure to check out our YouTube. Subscribe to us there. Go to our Twitter, our Instagram, the whole nine. And without further ado, let's get into this episode today. Do we have any Halloween? News. We have Halloween news, I think, and I think we also have an It Came From Reddit this week, so we're doubling down, Ooh, baby, because lovely. we've been missing these segments, and there's been a lot of weird shit happening. There has been a lot of weird lot. shit happening. A lot of uh, <laughs> extraterrestrial activity, uh, I guess. It's being mentioned that? more in the news now than I think I've ever heard in my life. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, I think so, too. It's... uh we really didn't get a chance to talk too much about this because, like like I said, we've had a lot of guests on the show in the last little bit. So we haven't really had much of an opportunity to kind of deep dive on all the aerial phenomenon that's been going on. We briefly and, touched uh, on it on an episode, uh, but we yeah, didn't so go into I mean, just and it slightly. just keeps getting weirder because it's not just the U.S. It's not just... Uh, now you're, there's stuff being spotted in like Romania. There's been stuff spotted in the UK. There's weird shit is going on. Yeah, just in the skies in general. Like I, I, I seen something that was um, it was a, it looked like a cloud, but it wasn't a cloud. It looked like if the um, uh, the purple avenues from Power Rangers splurged <laughs> in the sky. It was weird, dude. And somebody's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh no, Avenues isn't going to hurt anybody. Yeah. <laughs> He's not yeah. coming down to hurt anybody. He's coming no, down to sell product. What's his tagline again, Chad? He is. He, he's. He, oh, yeah, you want me to give his tagline? I, I kind of. I always forget his fucking tagline. It's uh, take it home in boxes, take it home in cases. And if your parents try to stop you, just Ooh. throw it in their faces. <laughs> that was later adapted by a few <laughs> stars. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was gonna I, say, I love that should, tagline. That, so if it good, wasn't man. something that was already used, that would have been a perfect for like a like a like a I Halloween three six five beard balm or something like that. <laughs> Throw it in your face. Yo, oh man, that would have well, been really good. Just, say, oh. just change the word say right. and rub it on your faces. Yeah. Rub it on your face, but we, we're still gonna get sued yeah. by Saban. 
Mm. And uh, I, I'm not about ah, that. Well, <laughs> regardless, regardless. Yeah, no, there's been all kinds of weird stuff happening. And I want to go on record. So since we're early in the year, we're February 26th. There's a long ass way to go. This is going to be a For me, it's already been a really strange year. And I can say that it's probably been the exact same for the other two. But uh, that are on the podcast. Um, but I'm going to go on a limb and say by the end of 2023, we're going to see something weird. And I don't mean like you're going to see it out by yourself, like you're going to have an encounter. I mean, like. You're saying it's yeah. a global yeah. phenomenon yeah. weird. I agree. Something I think that weird's going to happen. Is, okay. It's I'm going to get something big. Yeah, I'm painting. I'm painting with very broad strokes right now. I'm trying to because I'm going to say something weird. I'm yeah. not <laughs> I'm not going to say that uh, we're going to have like an alien come down and talk or anything, but. I think something really fucking weird is going to happen. I think you're right. I I don't know what it's going to be, but I, I think you're you're on to something. Um, it's it's gonna we're due up for something to change to revolutionize the world. I thought COVID was going to be it, but it didn't really change too much. Not as much no, as I thought it. It would. made me more of an introvert, and something's coming, which. Mm-hmm. I think so too. Sometimes yeah. serves you well. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> we do have some Halloween news. Are you guys excited as I am for Scream Six? Ooh, I... I, I'm hearing a lot of sighs <laughs> out there. So. I'm excited for the popcorn <laughs> bucket you know. and or refillable drink cup. Yeah. That's right, baby. That's right, baby. Only nineteen ninety nine plus tax and shipping when you order online. <laughs> no, this is not a plug. This is actually you can order this through Cinemark. The Scream popcorn tubs are back for a limited time. The pre-sale ends on three seventeen at midnight. Uh, when does the movie come out? Yeah, the twenty fourth, yeah. right? So that's like right around. Uh, the I corner. want the cup. I want the cup. Like I mean. I want the bucket. Yeah, the popcorn too. thing is cool as fuck, but what I'm, where am I going to stick it, dude? What cabinet am I going to fit that fucking thing in? Well, I mean, I mean, I'm just going to keep it. I'm probably just. Oh, gonna I guess keep you could just set it. Okay, okay. Like just, just, uh, just as a display. I'm thinking. I'm, I'm never going to use it again practical. after that night. I'm not probably so wait, not even going to take these, it with does me. It, like, is it ordered and come, came to your house, or is it to the theater? Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, so wait, do sure I get a ticket to the movie? That's a good question. Is that just the merchandise? I think you can you can double down. You can double down. Um, hold, on, hold, on. hold on, hold up a minute. The movie's actually out on the tip. Oh, so you can just continue to buy these even after the movie's released. I, I guess you can. You you've got a week. Mm. I'm I want one. They look cool. I've seen a few people that already have them. Um, maybe they've had theirs before in the past, but I like it. It's really cool. It's the coolest popcorn bucket I've ever seen. The Doctor Strange one was pretty cool. Yeah, too, they've. Uh, I think they've got an Ant Man one as well right now. If anybody's into that, that's out there listening. Yeah. Uh, if you're trying to collect the Marvel stuff, they've got an Ant Man bucket and drink thing. I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, moving right along, HBO Max has ordered a whole series officially of Welcome to Dairy. It is supposed to take place in a prequel storytelling series of the it franchise uh there's no further details on what year it's going to take place in but if i had to hazard a guess i would say it's probably gonna maybe go into a little bit more detail about the the great fire that happened in Derry, or maybe even the early settlers that first uh came to the town and Dude, first encountered it if that happens um, that'll be so fucking cool uh, yeah, that's what's been on my mind. I don't know yeah. if they're going to go back yeah. that far, or are they just going to go back before the main story? Like, because it happened several times. I, one thing I can say is I like this. This has more potential in my mind than a prequel to Friday the 13th. 100%. Because it's untouched territory. Um, I'm assuming they have Stephen King's blessing. Then again... I don't think that they really care. Uh, There's just so much potential. You could, you could technically turn this into kind of like how American horror story does like a different era. Every time you could do this Mm -hmm. with welcome to dairy. You could skip forward. What is it? 23 years. It's, it's like the creeper, isn't it? Dude, That would have been something to turn into a series. So that would have been something to turn into a series, man. 
Jeepers Creepers. It would have done so much been. better because been. you can pretty much guarantee that out of, let's say that it ran for five seasons, which would have to be five springs or whatever the hell, five 23rd springs. Uh, so yeah. you could pretty much guarantee that almost every single season that nobody's going to make it out or there's just going to be one person that's going to make it out. Yeah. It would have been a good, yeah. yeah. Someone's going to be cursed instead of the movies that we got, you know, Mark, uh, yeah. Oh my God. Did anybody side tangent here? Did anybody see? I was actually reborn. Thinking about watching it tonight. I was no, not worth it. <laughs> don't. Damn. Hmm. Don't. Damn. Is that Stay is this? Away. If you want to watch it, being is my that a guest, comment on here. just for Jeremy to not watch it, or are you telling the fans out there to not? I'm telling every single person out there to boycott this movie. Not it now. It has nothing to do with Victor Salva, which is good, but the movie's still well, a piece hold on, of shit. Hold on. Is it as bad as the third one? So, oh, it's worse. I don't. It's, can it be? Oh. You want to bet? No, <laughs> I mean I'll take some bets. I guarantee even, you, it's worse. Even the old Shotzi Blackheart said that it was horrible. That was her. Dude, it was voted as the it. worst yeah. horror movie mm. of last year. By multiple different. It's a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> he just said, I don't it's think a piece of shit. That <laughs> it's a piece of shit. It really is. It's a big steaming to people home. people are listening in Hollywood mm-hmm. that make these horror movies, you have such a great idea, such as things like this and Sinister. Why ruin them? I'm not saying that Sinister mm. was ruined, but it didn't want to get picked up for a third one. But so, so why ruin them? Well, Jeremy. I don't think they should. Don't if they don't knew pick it up for the reason you behind know. that, then I would say that friend of the show, Mister Landis, would uh, have a lot more of his scripts be dead on. They would have, instead True. of them taking his idea and changing the fucking ending to it and making it weird. Well, with cocaine bear and shit like that coming out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, it's Meth Gator time. Meth Gator. Beth Gator is on its way from Asylum Films. I just wanted to go ahead and put that out there in the Halloween news, so we might yeah, as well since we're talking transition. about it. Meth Gator, uh, baby. I mean, it's in there. It's it's Meth Gator, baby. It's coming. Um, Asylum Films, those are, all, of course, the guys who made Sharknado. They're known for notoriously going in and making these mm-hmm. spoof films such as Transmorphers instead of Transformers because, you know, Grandma's just going to pick up whatever she finds at the Walmart and put it in the cart thinking it's the right thing, but it's going to disappoint one young man out there <laughs> yeah. to you or girl. The rumor behind <laughs> Meth Gator is that they are planning on showing it at every NASCAR race this year so that you get a two. <laughs> You're full of shit, dude. Is that a joke? Are you joking? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, did you say it's you get a two, no, no, you get a two for that? one? You get the show and I you get a, <laughs> oh, a two for Meth one. Gator. You you could probably find. Listen, they play it right movie, after the uh, race, NASCAR. after everybody's shit faced, and then they'll think it's the best fucking movie they've ever seen in their life. Man, what it is? is I ain't never seen somebody with a girl good. named Crystal on his hip. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 Random uh, by poll. The way, random poll. Yeah, yeah, no, How many ahead, crystals do you think yeah. are sitting in a NASCAR arena every time there's a race? Like actual people named Crystal? Are you talking about yeah, the drug? Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. People named Crystal. <laughs> How many do you think are sitting in those stadiums? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so cast, if our but... listener's name is Crystal, then you don't count because, you know, you're our fan. You're part of the family. <laughs> Your parents yeah. hated you're better you. than that. No, I'm kidding. You're better you're than that. the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say five. Uh, five to eight. Five? Yeah. five? In in an arena, this, yeah, those things are massive. Eight. It's like what? Yeah, seventy five thousand people. Maybe? There's at least eight. I will say eight? at the They're least. They're kind of like coliseums in a way. Kind of how big they are. I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go around three hundred. Hitting a big one, ain't he? Three hundred crystals. Okay. I'm. Well, I mean, think about it. I mean, how many people can? How many people are, are seated in Daytona? A lot. Or Talladega. I'm gonna say okay, okay. This is taking. I'm. I'm gonna say 63, <laughs> 63 crystals, somewhere. 63, 63 mm-hmm. crystals. Oh, that's yeah. Um, okay, <laughs> moving right along. If you don't want to go to NASCAR, you, you can always go see Mr. Bruce Campbell, who's going out on tour. For Bruce O'Rama, he's going to be touring all throughout the month of April. 
hitting a ton of different cities such as Greenville, South Carolina, Richmond, Virginia, Rockville, Maryland, and Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. I shouldn't have said that one just because of Germ's pick today, but I did. Um, He's a busy man. Did you also know that Mr. Bruce it Campbell is about to do an, uh, a show on AE where somebody gets to win having their wedding turned into an Evil Dead mm-hmm. wedding? And he's gonna. Whoa! That is he's gonna host that. Awesome. That I need to get married. <laughs> now I think the competition's going on right now. Like I think. Oh. It's... <laughs> whoa! Well. What was the weirdest fucking whoa I've ever heard in my life? <laughs> well. <laughs> well, ladies, if you're listening, um, and you yeah, want to get married, uh, bonds all over. Hit me up. Chairs and shit. And... <laughs> He is single and he is ready to mingle. Uh, he's actually, I think he might be going on tour with Ted Raimi, actually, which is kind of funny. Uh, he will be playing the game Last Fan Standing, which is a fun little interactive experience. If you guys have never seen that before, go check it out. And he's also going to be giving uh, a showing of one of his movies. We, I don't know which one it is yet. It just says a, a groovy Bruce movie. Probably yeah. going to be Evil Dead. Let's be real. But maybe Army you of never Darkness. Know. Maybe Army of Darkness. It, it could easily be that. Uh, but are are you guys gonna go? I mean, he's closer. He's not coming to my neck of the woods. Depends on the financial situation. Um, I would like to. Uh, that would definitely be something to cover on here. My plan is to yeah. spread this podcast far and wide. By God, so I'm gonna try to attend as many cons. I'm gonna try to attend as many meet and greets as I possibly can. I don't know how many that'll be but i'm planning on spreading her far and wide want to create a community chad that's what we're trying to do baby that's right that's right so bruce i'm coming for you here. you might see me in the background bruce. of the ae special i'm just gonna pop up like some somebody's uh wedding wedding crasher style but for the <laughs> <laughs> he's he's coming Never. for you brucey all right Next up, we got Addison Ray has been cast in Eli Roth's Thanksgiving. That's right, Thanksgiving, the weird little spoof trailer that we saw uh, back at the Grindhouse double feature of Tarantino and uh, Robert Rodriguez. It's coming. Uh, I don't know why this movie is happening. I don't know if I was watching it. I'm more concerned that he casted Addison Ray. (laughs) Yeah. I um, I know this is what I'm star, saying. I, I, don't, I don't care about the Thanksgiving thing. I mean, for fuck's sake, we've got plenty of horror movies that are way worse than that. Hmm. But it's me personally. Well, I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. But I'm sure that he has some kind of weird strategy in his crazy Eli. Didn't uh, well, wasn't there a Thanksgiving the movie released in 2022? Uh, the Pilgrim. Not not. The, yeah, the pilgrim. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Uh, thanks. No, this one. This one had uh, uh, Herschel from the fucking Walking Dead. The old dude. He was one of them. That was a murderer. Mm. Oh, I don't think yeah. I've seen this. We'll have to. That, that, that's another thing we'll have to come back to. Now. But still. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, last little bit of Halloween news, horror news. Fangoria 2023 Chainsaw Awards have officially kicked off voting. You can vote all the way up until, I think, tomorrow. I think tomorrow's the last day. Um, Well, that would be the third. Um, No, the second. The second of April. Mm. So go check out the Fangoria Awards. Cast your vote. I've already cast mine. There were a few good few few in there that i'm hoping i'm pulling for primarily nope is on the ballad mm-hmm. barbarians on the ballad halloween's um, uh there there's there's quite a few is on the ballad i, I voted halloween's music is definitely on the ballad yes. vote john carpenter and all the way you, uh, have, uh we covered um, this last year too the results on it last year so we're gonna have to see there wasn't a lot of fantastic shit that was on there last year in my opinion but not last year. This year's this yeah, year's a, pretty, a pretty banging list. Like uh, there's, Chucky, there's a lot. Of, yeah, I had a hard time uh, casting series, my votes. One of the series. Is, um, okay. Mm-hmm. Chucky. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, X, <sighs> Pearl. Let's be real. There's a lot of good stuff. X, Pearl. I like so A24 bashing aside. Oh God, let's hand not. It to him. What yeah, was it, Jeremy? Good. What was the friggin' discussion that we had last night? Good. Okay, so real quick. So I was looking at their movies, and overall, like, <laughs> the movies that aren't horror movies, I was like wow i can't believe they've actually got some good movies they've done out there that are that are not horror movies hmm. so i was like i can't hmm. i like a lot of their actual movies and my statement and, was a24 I mean, does not make horror movies they never have made horror movies they haven't done it yet they make thrillers hmm. and then if you stop they yeah, make art house exactly pieces. oh god I had such a fantastic comparison last night. I wish that I had recorded it. Oh, it Voss. Was, it you was... said if Voss was... Oh, yeah. I said yeah. if the Voss channel had enough money to make million-dollar movies, it would be fucking A24. And that's not saying anything on Voss, because I like I Voss. Agree. I like their documentaries. But it's the same style of film to me. Yes. Slow burn. Yeah, I And agree. if you go I back agree. and look at all of A24 um, shit... Um, Minus the sentimental movies or the documentary pieces or anything like that, it's thrillers. It's a hundred percent thrillers the entire way. Yeah, even the it's witch. Thrillers. I'm not even the witch. Like I'm not. Like I said, I'm not going to sit here and say that I hate everything A24 makes because I loved Ex Machina. I loved The Green Tusk. Knight. Yeah. Tusk was great. But there's also a lot of really there's stuff that stuff. they've done that a I lot like. Of really shitty but stuff. we need to be clear on the. On in the horror yeah. community and on the pod and on your socials, A24 has not been making horror movies. And as a matter of fact, I would even go on a limb and say that uh, Jordan Pill himself has only made a horror movie. No, two. Candyman. Two. Two. Uh, he mm -hmm. produced that. Involved. Uh, but Man, the rest are thrilling. Yeah, 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 you're right. Thrillers. They're thrillers. They're thrillers at the end of the day. And uh, whoever yeah, made the whale? It's A24. The fuck, man? No, but the director, it's like, what the fuck? It's the most depressing <laughs> shit that I've ever he, seen. He was like, you know what? Like, we just... What am I supposed just to feel COVID, here? The world like, almost died. And you know what? It's time for a tearjerker. We need a we need a fat Brendan Fraser. Uh, if it brings... Whatever. If it gives anyway, me that's a fourth <laughs> mummy movie, I'm not gonna say a fucking word about it. Yeah. It, it it ain't giving you a fourth know. mummy movie. The only thing that film is gonna do is gonna probably help project the careers of some of the 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 other individuals in the movie, but it's probably not gonna. Do I think that you're gonna bite your sense. tongue on that one. I think we are gonna get a fourth mummy. We'll see. We'll see when what what, what award season's over, right? It's in. I feel it in my bones. I, I think it it's gonna happen. Somebody one, one, sign me one up of these if film it's there, companies it's there. that but, likes to play off yeah. nostalgia. I think we'll grab it and just do it. Word, but that's all the <laughs> Halloween news that I have, um, gentlemen. Do you have any uh, yeah, any any news or anything to mention on your end? Talk about any news? Hmm? Me? No, no, I'm not. No. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. I, I'm I newsless. Waiting. I'm newsless. The no, mute button okay. wouldn't he's, stop or wouldn't go. He's, he's sitting over there watching his sorrows melt away. <laughs> no, that's had to put that back in the that's, ice box. Oh, yeah, no. that is the You're right. Uh, oh, latest and greatest. But I think, I think it's time to dive into the confines of Reddit. What do you think? That is correct. It is. It came from Reddit. And if you guys have heard this segment before, then you know exactly what's coming your way. And if you have not, if you're new to the podcast, this is a segment where we do a dive on Reddit and try to find uh, paranormal stories, experiences. And then we're going to read their post and decide if they're full of shit or if this is plausible. Uh, no, we are not experts, but you obviously like listening to us for some reason. That's why you're here. So here's going to be our opinion on if they're full of shit or not. <laughs> Today's It Came From Reddit comes from Corpse Muncher. Okay. Oh. What part are we munching on? Oh, uh, that has yet to be determined, my friend. But this, <laughs> this, this post 
<laughs> is titled The Woman. Mm-hmm. Just The Woman. Hey, yeah. 24. Listen <laughs> oh, up. yeah. Here's your next <laughs> script. Here's the script. You. <laughs> okay. Um, so he says, I've only had a couple of encounters with The Woman. The first occurred many years ago. My brother and I had gotten home from school when I noticed our mom's car was in the driveway. We were unaware at the time that she was borrowing someone else's car and her she was not home. Her car was just there. So when we got inside and started looking for her, we looked all over the house and eventually came upon my bedroom. Uh, I feel it's important to mention that the door handle to my bedroom is very old and sometimes has to be turned twice left and right to get it to Jimmy open. My brother and I turned the handle once and then heard a very clear, distinct voice belonging to a woman inside say, Yeah? He and I turned and looked at one another for a moment before opening the door all the way, just to find the bedroom empty. I hadn't heard her speak for many years, the woman. After that incident, until one night about a year ago, I was home alone, and in the bathroom preparing to take a shower when I started to hear the floorboards creak leading up into the bathroom, from down the hallway into the bathroom, and as if somebody was walking back and forth in a pacing formation, before once again hearing that same woman's voice that I'd heard all those years ago, this time saying, hello, hello. Is that it? <laughs> That's the story. That's that's it. That, that's it. That's what. <laughs> so, first thing when they said that. Uh, wait, wait. What the fuck were you guys <laughs> laughing about? <laughs> first, because <laughs> I look up <laughs> and you dumb fucks. <laughs> I couldn't look at him, man. So, so <laughs> the whole reason I even started laughing to begin with is because at the store, the thing, the beginning of the story, I was like, "This dude's full of shit." He said, "This was the first time I had an encounter with." the woman and i'm like oh no 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 it's just bullshit i just said it to make it more dramatic because it's a fucking reddit user i'm trying to make it creepy for the fucking listener. but you said that those were his words right the first time I. yeah but he's not telling me to read it in a certain (laughs) fucking form i know that but it's the way he said it that's how i would have read it too so i'm like this dude's full of shit immediately jesus okay well i mean in my head i'm just thinking like because you said the mom came home and i i for some reason, I when 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 I imagine cars, horror stories in the driveway, I just imagine creep shows. Thanks for the ride, lady. <laughs> no, it never that, and it makes me it laugh. Never said she every came home. Time. It said that they thought she was home and she wasn't there. Because... Okay. <laughs> See, and then after <laughs> after I was trying to get rid of my laughter, I seen you sorry, fucking laughing, Mister. and I was like, "Oh man, I couldn't help it because it yeah 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 that fucking <laughs> LA night walking around yeah. your goddamn house yeah." yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Let me talk to you. <laughs> what well, well, the hell's going on? Okay, you so but... breaking down what we have here, minus the uh, you guys not lacking the uh, voices the or anything like that. <laughs> that this ghost lets out. So, what do we have? Disembodied voices and the sounds of steps. I think it's in his head. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he did have opinion. he did it's, does it's claim to have his brother head. as a witness for the first time that it happened. And it mm. Okay, but his brother's only these two anything. encounters, right? So fuck him. Yeah, just these two. Well that that's all the post talks well, about anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um is it possible? Yeah. Um it's possible. No, but it, it's possible. Um, I don't know. The, the way he topped it out makes me want to say no, man. Uh, I don't know. I'm on the fence with this one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, It's pretty fucking easy for me to figure this dude's well, just I, hearing I can, shit. I don't, I don't ever want to discredit I, people when it comes to stuff like that because there's things I've heard before and then people be like, oh, you're hearing shit or oh, how many beards did you have? Fuck off. I've, and that's that goes to you, Redbeard. Uh, yeah, no. So I don't like to discredit people. So 
Uh, I'm gonna start. You know what? No, no, no. Sorry, Dooley. I'm gonna say he might be right. Oh, okay. Okay. You don't have to get so defensive. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. Um, I'm still gonna say no. I think it's just disembodied, like his his thoughts. Like he's probably just hearing shit. And uh, why did he feel the need to tell us about his door handle? Oh, oh, because, because he's, he's trying to get uh, in. He, he, because it was it's normally it yeah, normally takes mean, two turns and he only had to turn it once this time. Yeah, but is that is that I, I mean, he's not a fucking he's not a screenplay writer. We don't it's not No, nah, I know, I know. I'm just saying it's just weird to me that he had to mention that. Like mm, I didn't even have to turn it the second time and she was like, Don't come in. No. Yeah. That is, that is a little weird to me. What do you think? What, what are um. <laughs> Anyways, uh, my vote topic. is that this is uh, somebody trying to come up with a good story. Uh, sorry, Corpse Muncher. Take that to creepy pasta because your writing skills are needing some work. It came from Reddit. No, oh, we like to kid. We like to kid. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, we don't mean any harm by it, but sarcasm's our language, and if you can't run with it, then I guess we're not the show. But, but we are the show that has the best, <laughs> the best Halloween. Information and stories. Oh, the Halloween headquarters, the baby. This might as well be the HNN. It's the Halloween News Network right here and now. Oh, that's a good way to look at it. Yeah. TM. 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 We're trademarking that. TM. TM. Hey, so you boys ready to feast? <laughs> yeah. I am ready. <laughs> well, so yeah. since we've got something that's my time food, sensitive, getting cold, I think that so. Jeremy should be the one to start us off. Um, I'm I, going I so to yeah, yeah, briefly tell it. everybody, as Chad and I and Jeremy all have stated at the beginning, this is the main topic of the episode. It is our death row inmates and their final meals. Um, we're going to give you a little bit of backstory on them, their meal uh, while we're eating it, and uh, give you some information on these killers. Just to be clear, we are not celebrating them. They are pieces of shit. But... Um, horror nice. Halloween. Um, hate to say it is made up and inspired by people like this. So here we are with the topic, and also uh, half of the true crime podcast that you listen to out there wouldn't be making millions if it wasn't for people listening to it. So, Jeremy, start us off. Take it. Away, Take us Jeremy. to death row. Okay, so I went with um. Mr. Timothy McVeigh, if you guys do not know him, you listeners, he is known as the Oklahoma City Bomber. Um, he's not much of a serial killer as he is just a, kind of a terrorist act. And there's a reason I went with him compared to others. For Well, there's a couple of different reasons. Um, yeah, he would be a I terrorist, go, right? That's... Yes. So, oh, okay. I mean, I always thought uh, so. Just a quick yeah. backstory before I go ahead and dive in. Well, actually, let me take a bite since it is time sensitive and we'll get to it. He uh, chose mint chocolate chip ice cream, just a bowl of it as his last meal. Mm. And it's the You'll have to uh, uh, minimize your white page on your screen oh, yeah. and sorry, then re-show, sorry. And show them the ice, show them the yeah, ice cream again. Bright, yeah, so. you can see it better. There you go. Mint it's chocolate melting. Chip. I don't want to. Yeah. Mint chocolate chip. There she blows. It's melting. Yeah. If I'm not a fan of ice cream. cream. Mm. No. I don't like so ice he only ate ice cream? Yeah. He only ate ice cream. Um, mm. So, real quick. For those that are not familiar, on the morning of April 19th, 1995, an ex-army soldier and the security guard named <laughs> Timothy McVeigh parked a rented rider truck in front of the Alfred P. Murrell Federal Building in downtown Oklahoma. Um, so basically inside of the vehicle was a powerful bomb made out of deadly out of a deadly cocktail of agricultural fertilizer, diesel fuel, and other chemicals. Um, basically he gets out, locks the door, 
heads towards his getaway car, ignites the fuse, and at precisely 9.02 a.m., the bomb exploded. Yeah, it was pretty bad. It's, it's noted that it looked like a war zone. A third of the building had reducted to rubble, with many floors flattened like pancakes. Dozens of cars were incinerated, and more than 300 nearby buildings were damaged or destroyed. Sweet uh, Jesus. And That's here's the thing. Bomb. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's 168 souls were lost, including 19 children, with several hundred more injured. Good Lord. I didn't realize yeah. that it was, I mean, I, I knew how bad it was. I mean, like, I just didn't realize how big of an f- explosion it was. Yeah, it was a pretty damn big explosion. Um, so, it, you know, it is homegrown terrorism. Uh, it's the worst act of homegrown terrorism in this nation's history. Mm-hmm. Um you know, before we get to his last words, um, when was he? Uh, when was he put in prison? So on April twentieth. Uh, oh, the, so they oh they recognized him on April twentieth. The rear axle of his rider truck was located, and which yielded a vehicle identification number, and they traced the body shop. So that's how they were able to find him, and that's how okay. they got the name. Uh, looks like. Mm. Uh, he was already in jail on in West Virginia on April 21st. Um, he had been pulled over about 80 miles north of Oklahoma City by an observant Oklahoma State trooper who was noticed uh, a missing license plate and a yellow Mercury uh, Marquise. Um, I don't people they act they do real stupid shit. Like I'm gonna get away. I'm gonna go to a different state. But you don't have a fucking tag. You're gonna get pulled over. Like, this was just ninety doesn't... minutes after the bombing, yeah. so maybe this wasn't in West Virginia. I must have read something wrong. What in the hell? Oh, they, they they call okay. They called the Bur- uh, bureau services in West Virginia to find out some stuff, and they found that's when they found out he was already arrested because not only was this dumbass going eighty miles per hour just ninety minutes after the bombing, um, but he had a concealed weapon, and that's how he was arrested. So, so he, oh, yeah, man. so. Um, it looks like, so he was arrested pretty much. It doesn't give the exact day. So it was showing me that day. Um, so it does look like that moving forward. Um, his last time on earth, the domestic terrorist was given up on, uh, remaining appeals and accepted his fate. So, um, sorry if you hear background noise. Uh, with uh, his execution scheduled for the next morning, the night he ate his last meal, he was allowed to request whatever, and he specifically asked for two pints of mint chocolate chip ice cream right here. Mm. That's a lot. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of ice cream, isn't it? Like, I don't know. What's a pint? That's like a uh, it's like uh, it's like the Ben and Jerry's containers that you can get. And like, <clears throat> Oh, so yeah, it's, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. smaller than yeah, I mean, it, it's not. It's not. It's idiot. Yeah, I don't eat ice same. cream. I don't so eat I don't ice know. cream either. Like, no. And if I do, I it's pistachio. Oh, that goes in my beard. What? Oh, oh I saw someone that shit my brains out. Um, <laughs> we we have a theory that you possibly. may be lactose. Do I don't know. know. My stomach hates me. But to um, he yeah, had a he, choice, folks. I did have a choice, but there's a reason why. So for one, it's the only ice cream I like. Two, it. It really made me wonder. It's like you could have anything, and I'm sure you know this will be the last question we ask before we get off here. So I'm not going to ask you guys what you would have just yet, but you can have anything if you're on death row. Anything you're, as your last meal, yeah. and you want to choose mint chocolate chip. Just that you could you could have that with something else, yeah. and that's all you want. And to me, that just lets me know. know. Well, that he ain't makes all there. me wonder about. That makes me wonder about the people that order way too much shit. I've got an answer for that when I was doing some research. Um, I did find out that most prisons limit you to $40. Well, then how did some of these people get lobster tails? and? He said most prisons, not all. I'm not sure. Uh, Uh, most prisons, yeah, not all. Maybe they started prison, implementing that uh, after, prisons, like, they yeah. were giving big people, like, five-star meals. Could you imagine that? Oh, yeah, you slaughtered a whole family. Let's get Gordon Ramsay in here to fucking cook you a goddamn Wellington before you go I to... I was thinking that, yeah. 
I was thinking that. Can you imagine? That's a great screen. Holy TV, shit. Here we go. Um, yeah. Oh, that's what started that fucking discussion <laughs> anyway. last night was Jeremy talking about the stupid menu, dude. Oh, the movie, the menu. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, don't let them knock you. I liked it. Um, clearly they don't, apparently. I didn't know Dooley didn't like it, but. Okay. Anyway. We'll get off, we'll, we will get I way like off Art track PC, if yeah. I dive into. But, yeah. Well, Sorry. yeah. I, I, I so he was that. offered, just like everybody else is norm normally, before lethal injection. Um, so it was um, lethal injection of chemicals. He was permitted to make a reasonably brief statement, but he declined, and instead, and this is another reason why I was like, okay, this is interesting. Uh, another reason why I went with him. So instead. Uh, McVeigh left a final message through a hand-copied poem with his signature at the bottom. The poem is Invictus by William Ernest Henley. And it ends with the following lines, and this is what he put. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Mm. And with that, he died with ice cream in his belly. <laughs> and it did not come out the same way it went in. Now, whenever you said Henley was a quote, the Henley quote, I thought you were going to say Don Henley, and then I thought the quote was going to be from Sunset Grill for some fucking reason. But uh, no, down at the but I just thought it was very unique um, that this loony chose mint chocolate chip ice cream. Yeah, it's a weird thing to choose, in my opinion. Uh, ice cream being the last... I mean, I don't know. I did read briefly that most of the stuff that these people choose, uh, that once they get it, they barely eat any of it because their stomachs are so upset because they know that they're about to die. Maybe that's why, because, you know, it's mint chocolate and that mint chocolate helps you ease your stomach. That's, that is, Ooh. I wonder... I would just stuff my fat ass with some fucking peppermint patties then. <laughs> That's mint chocolate. Huh? Yeah. Patty mayonnaise. What would you do for a cream? Oh, nothing. I can't eat ice cream. You can't. It's like, can't. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Who's next? <laughs> Who's next on the That's... menu? That That's the <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Well, we started off with dessert, so I think we need an entree. Since we're working in reverse here, baby. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I had the... Uh, I wouldn't say it was a privilege at all, um, but... I, I went with John Wayne Gacy, a killer who dressed as the notorious Pogo the Clown for kids' parties, charity events all around Chicago. The gentleman was convicted. Well, he was a monster, not a gentleman. Let's be real. He was convicted of murdering at least 33 teen boys and young men between 1972 and 1978. They were all killed in Norwood Park in Chicago in his ranch house. Uh, most of them were strangled and asphyxiated. And uh, he buried about 26 of those bodies in a crawl space beneath his home. In 1980, he was sentenced to die for 12 of those killings, but then he was executed by lethal injection a few years later in 1994, May 10th, 1994. Now, here's something interesting. For his last meal, he chose KFC, some crispy fried chicken. And that's crispy what I, fried <laughs> chicken. That's what I Crispy fried chicken. I don't know if you can see it on camera. No. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Crispy fried chicken. Is that a man. breast? There it is. There it is. Kentucky oh, fucking chicken. It's it's a breast, and I'm gonna dig right on in. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Oh god. Mmm. Oh. Cold breasts. Well, you know what they say it's about so a cold. witch's titty. Been sitting here for a while. Uh, <laughs> so. Does anybody want? I don't no, you're shoot, good because maybe know. that's some ASMR. So yeah. Gacy uh, was a piece of shit, but he, uh, not even, that's not a but. He was a piece of shit. He did uh, inspire a lot of clown 
killers from uh, Halloween and horror movies. Um, not a lot of people are going to admit that now, I would assume, with the culture, or they'll regrettingly admit it or begrudgingly admit it. <clears throat> but it's <clears throat> uh, he was an inspiration just the same as um, to horror movies, just the same as uh, Mr. Ed Gain was as well. Mm -hmm. And there's yes. several different mm -hmm. slashers or uh, people like that <clears throat> that have been based off Mr. Gain. But Mr. Gacy... yeah, Here's was... something interesting. No, I was just going to say oh, Mr. Sorry, Gacy was a case of his own. He was, uh, you know... <clears throat> Here's something that's a little disturbing and I just found this out like a little bit after. As an adult, he managed a chain of KFC restaurants oh. that <laughs> to maintain fuck his family shit. man of yeah, boys. boys. Why do you think he went with it? But you know what's funny about that? Does it say that's it there, where one? Chad? Does it say the what? What was oh, that? They don't know where the chicken came from. <clears throat> no, apparent. No, it doesn't. Well, apparently they never it. confirmed that it was actual KFC chicken or not. So they could have just mm. gave him some fucking fried chicken. <laughs> Like, well, I, you know, I was thinking that because I was thinking like maybe like some double quick, some D and J, but like, <laughs> but let's be real. KFC has a flavor. It does. Got, you would be able to, and especially if he was a manager, if he was so running herbs, different uh, branches of fucking KFCs, you know, actually I did, uh, wasn't one of his first victims, uh, a KFC employee that worked for him or that was one of his later ones, I think, uh, I can't believe I'm actually yeah. doing this while talking. Uh, it, it's it's crazy as hell. The man was eating KFC probably uh, religiously while he was doing all these acts because, you know, working with KFC and such. Uh, and that was his last meal. I don't know. It's a you know, sick it's almost, mind. It's almost fitting that my dude, uh, or McVeigh, chose uh, ice cream before he got his just desserts. Oh, sorry. I had to. God. Okay, back to Gacy. <laughs> I hope that. No, no, no. Never mind. Nope. Never mind. Continue, Chad. <clears throat> well, anyway, um, <laughs> as I was saying, uh, he did manage a chain of uh, KFC restaurants. None of that was mentioned. Whether or not he actually. Um, got the kfc but i i would assume that they wouldn't let i would assume let's reason. just hope that he doesn't it, it, use it like their tagline for anything that he was doing while he was doing it oh stop my God. you just had to yeah, stop. Seriously. I, you, I got yeah. no. I, it's true it's true he's got a lot um famous last words right after this meal kiss my ass that was it his famous last mm -hmm. words was kiss mm -hmm. my ass Cut, dry. Uh, does it say his point. nickname? You know what? The article that I had didn't mm. mention his nickname. But are you guys familiar with his nickname? I just thought he I was, thought the, it was just clown. The, the pogo again. I mean, that's what I always thought. I didn't think he actually mm. had a nickname, but, uh, you know. Pogo the Clown. You know, that even kind of shows the kind of piece of shit he was, too. All the shit that he done, and then his last <laughs> words. That's kind of like a, like a fuck you. Oh, yeah. dude, oh he, he didn't knew what he did. Fucks. No. Yeah. No, no, yeah, no. Yeah, he didn't care. This he, was he not a person. That's the reason why I think that movie. what we're talking about is something to talk about. And that's, uh, that's kind of how I'm justifying my fucks and all this stuff that I'm saying about how they're pieces of shit. Because these people didn't really give a shit about what they were doing. No, I agree. I agree. Oh my god, why is he surprised? Oh, you? because he we did not eat fries. The best. Yeah, I thought he did. He. Oh, he did. He, he did eat fries. Yeah. There's no way. Oh, strawberries. Too bad that uh, KFC don't have strawberries because I thought he ate strawberries too. Mm. Well, I, I'm glad I, I I don't have I don't have. Oh so. my god. Well, next week, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna have a new co-host on the podcast. So, because <laughs> Chad doesn't <laughs> like strawberries. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I tried. I mean, eh, to each their own. Okay, so John Wayne Gacy, uh, Pogo the Clown. Well, um, I would say that he's probably next to have his documentary done, kind of like. Uh, you know, I'm kind of surprised that hasn't. It's happened because yet. of 
Why hasn't that happened? That's what he gave it's me. because of who he did the stuff to. Well, yeah. Yeah, I guess that's fair, too. Most of his kills were... And, and by the way, if you guys are out there praising Dahmer... Go yeah, for this isn't the, the show for you guys. Or the people with Bundy. Yeah, he is an intelligent man, but he was a piece of shit, too. Now. Yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Agreed. So. Let's switch gears while Chad's enjoying his KFC, and uh, I assume Jeremy's eating his ice cream. Uh, he's been frozen on my screen for a Looks while. Like oh, no, gone. my ice cream's been gone. Oh, Okay. So, I know that I said that uh, all of these people were psychotic pieces of shit. This next person, my person that I chose, has been argued to be the opposite by some people. Um, <laughs> it's an interesting pick. It was an easy pick, but also uh, the woman's got an interesting enough story for it to be made into a literal movie that followed it step by step um so my thing was for the serial killer eileen woo what woo rose wow wow and her real name is i how uh, and eileen Pittman. so we're gonna say Pittman. she changed her name halfway through she got yeah anyways uh her last meal i'm gonna go ahead and tell you since i'm gonna be drinking it while we're uh going through the story was coffee <laughs> yeah I only sure. just wanted a cup of coffee Jeremy is not a fan of Eileen I'm not a fan of any of these but especially her I don't, yeah yeah I don't know I know that we're not like fans fans but you're like you've got something stewing deep down to <laughs> hatred for hot for all Eileen she's just got a face that makes you want to one of these days, well, Alice. She looks like a, a fucking monster, yeah. for well, sure. Uh, Eileen. <laughs> you went for it. I didn't Eileen, born February 29th. Oh, she's a Pisces. Oh, fuck. 1956 in Rochester, Michigan. Uh, made her way to eventually down into Florida, which is where uh, all of this took place. But it didn't start there because whenever, uh, before she got to Florida, she was arrested in Jefferson County, Colorado for driving under the influence at the age of 18 and disorderly contact, uh, conduct, excuse me, uh, for before they arrested her, she was firing a 22 caliber pistol from a moving vehicle. Uh, so that started a chain of jail Damn. appearances, which she was in and out of. She's a party uh, in and out of jail over and over uh, for quite some time. And you guys can see all of this if you haven't already. The movie Monster with uh, Charlize Theron and uh, Christina Ricci. And uh, um, they do really good. Real quick, you said she was born on February 29th, so she was the leap year? Yeah, February 29th, 1956. That says enough right there, the leap year. Freak. No, I'm kidding. Anybody born on the leap year, we just kid. So. Dude, he's gonna choke. On Anyways, his after a few, he's got cr he's got fucking, fucking chicken rating. skin and his beard and everything. He, he looks like <laughs> when Jim Carrey is uh, on Cable Guy. And he goes, Clarice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, so a couple of years after her first arrest with the DUI and the pistol happiness, she hitchhiked her way to Florida, where she met a 69 year old yacht club president, Mister Louis Grotz Fell. And they married quickly, and the announcement of their nuptials was printed on the local newspaper society pages, uh, where she continually involved herself in confrontations at a local bar. So everybody knew who she was because it was on, in the paper. So everybody in that local area in Florida knew that she'd married this 69 yacht owning millionaire of a man. But in her spare time, she was spending her time at the local bar. Um, where she went to jail several times while being in the bar for assault. She also hit Phil, the 69-year-old man, with his own cane, leading him to gain a restraining order against her within a few weeks of their marriage. Then she returned to Michigan, where she was arrested at another club. We're going to scoot on, because what ends up happening is that she ends up coming back to Florida where she begins 
dabbling in the sex trade. She was a prostitute uh, for a little while in Florida after she returned. Um, and in 1978, at the age of 22, she attempted suicide by shooting herself in the stomach. Uh, on May 1981, she was arrested in Edgewater, Florida for armed robbery of a convenience store where she stole $35 and two packs of cigarettes. And she was sentenced to prison on May 4th, 1982. And then she was released in 1983. She was then arrested shortly after again for passing forged checks to a bank in Key West, Florida. Uh, after she was released out of jail that time, she was named a suspect in the theft of a revolver and ammunition in Pasco County, Florida. Oh, God. Whew. Hang on, boys. My mouth's getting dry. I think I need some of that coffee that she drank on death row. Uh, Man, you need some. It's this long. And this long isn't even what this. she went to fucking prison for. So... Uh, Oh, okay. So yeah, January 4th, she was arrested in Miami and charged with car theft and resisting arrest, obstruction of justice for providing identification bearing her aunt's name. So she was posing to be her aunt and using the identification. Miami police officers found a 38 caliber revolver and a box of ammunition in the stolen car. Um, on June 2nd, 1986, a county deputy sheriff detained her for questioning after a male companion that she had spent time with accused her of pulling a gun on him in his car and demanding $200. She was found to be carrying spare ammunition and the police discovered a 22 pistol under the passenger seat that she had occupied. Uh, she did time for that. In 1986, she met 24-year-old Tyra Moore, a hotel maid at Daytona Beach at a Daytona Beach gay bar called Zodiac. Uh, they moved in together and Eileen supported her with earnings from her prostitution. On July 4th, 1987, Daytona Beach. Oh, sorry. Uh, messed that up. Jump lines. There's a lot here. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, she's uh, supporting Tyra by her prostitution. And on July 4th, 1987, a Daytona Be uh, Beach police detained her, uh, Miss Eileen, and more at a bar for questioning regarding an incident in which they were accused of assault and battery on somebody in the bar with a beer bottle. Um, on March 12th, Eileen was accused at... <laughs> in Daytona Beach bus driver of an assault she claimed that he had pushed her off of the bus following a confrontation and Tyra said that she was a witness to this incident later her trial stated uh, that Eileen it was love beyond imaginable between me and Tyra and she would do anything for me and lie for me in any way so that was the companionship they had what ended up happening that got her in jail is while she was prostituting, Eileen would do exactly what she almost got caught doing. She had a thirty-eight caliber caliber pistol uh, that she kept in her purse. She would go out and prostitute, and whenever they would get her in the car, they'd pull off on the side of the road. She would pull the gun out and demand money, and even after they gave her the money, she would shoot them. The first time she got caught and uh, did not kill the man. After that, she learned really quick. But if you look at the controversial part of this, the movie Monster and the way that Eileen tells whenever she talks about why she did stuff is because she said that she would get into uh, men's car and cars and do things for them that they paid for, but then eventually that they would just take what they wanted. They would just uh, R word her. And she said that she got tired of that and that it happened. And when she pushed a dude off over, she shot him and killed him. And that was the first one that she'd done. And then she took his money and hid his car in the woods. And there's a string of these, uh, that Miss Eileen has, which is Richard Charles Mallory, age 51, David Andrew Spears. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, that she was found to have killed. Um, Damn. But yeah, 
She was arrested in on July 4th, 1990. Last meal was a cup of coffee. She was killed on death row by lethal injection, and her final words were, Yes! I would just like to say that I'm sailing with the rock, and I'll be back like Independence Day with Jesus. <laughs> See, uh... She was yeah. nuts. Like, pure fucking she's, Yeah, she's wild. Trailer. Yeah. yeah, typical trailer park trash. And this is nothing against people in trailers, but uh, this is your no, typical... She... I mean, she claims that men taking advantage of her uh, fucked her brain up, and so she just got tired of it. But look at before her that happened, list of she shit. Was, yeah, yeah, she was doing all kinds of crazy shit before any of that happened. But she said that that goes back to her childhood yeah. because she said she was abused as a child as well. That's I why I say it's controversial. There's a lot that goes into it if you start looking into her stuff. I mean, she still did what she did, regardless. Yeah, but of course. She where she fucked up was one of the last people that she had did that to was a cop. <clears throat> uh, a cop picked her up and then she ended up killing him. Let me ask you guys a question. And this is across the board. Do you think any of these individuals that we discussed today could have gotten away with it? Um I think uh yeah, I think that there's only one person that could have got away with it, and I think it was the the chicken eater, because he got away with John it for Mayer? a really long fucking time. The bomber, how could he really? I mean, he you did. Know, he he can he only. Did. There's only a couple times you can bomb somebody. <laughs> well, well, no, I mean that was he was trying to plan a getaway That's after true. that, but they found um something uh the, the license plate or the the VIN number to the car, apparently it was still intact. So when they found it, they traced it back. And I guess that's how they ran it. Yeah. So, but I just don't think that the bomber would have been able to continuously keep doing. Oh, I think, no, no. That, it probably I think would have Gacy, been done. I think yeah. Gacy would, I don't think Gacy had yeah. any intention. I think he would have been able to keep going. Uh, if he hadn't been burying him under his house and shit. Um, not saying, you know, that that's like something to applaud or anything like that, but I think that he would have been good no. until birthday party clowns started to not be a thing. And then he would have just gone to the yeah. colonel. Well, took his, took his duty. I've got, there. um, before Ugh. we wrap things up, I know we're getting kind of close on time. So I've got a question for you guys. <clears throat> if you're on death row, Mm-hmm. I want y'all's answers before I give mine. Uh, what's your Ooh. last meal, boys? What's your last meal if you're on death row? Hmm. Uh, I'll go first. Because if you're sitting and okay. thinking, I mean, I assume that they give you time to sit and think. You got all the time in the world when you're sitting in the cell. But we don't have, and I'm not going to sit here with the dead air either. So right off the top of my head, bam, yeah. not thinking about it. Uh, my meal would be two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with Welch's grape jelly, know? Welch's grape jelly, and uh, the uh, Jif <laughs> peanut butter, uh, crunchy. One of the peanut butter and jellies has to be crunchy peanut butter. The other one has to be smooth. And I also want a full bag of the mini twist rolled gold pretzels with two glasses of chocolate milk. Please and thank you. And then you can send me to the chair. Well, what's your what's your last words? <laughs> uh, <laughs> last words. Uh, uh, I don't know. Oh, uh, you shouldn't have kissed me yeah, like have this, and then you shouldn't have been about. over. That would have been. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, without thinking about I can have anything, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no money limit on this. Uh, I'm a pizza guy. I got to go with a, a, a pan crust pizza from Pizza Hut with some wings, honey barbecue, and a two-liter Pepsi. Okay. Yep. Okay. I, I, I it doesn't to, sound bad. It doesn't sound bad. Wait, what, what's what's going to be your uh, what's going to be your going out? Qu- I want to try. I want to change mine to die trying. By the way. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, dot trying. Um, been there, done that, <laughs> got the t-shirt. I don't know. I really don't know. I have no fucking clue. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's too loaded of a question. Uh, well, <laughs> you sent me to you sent me to prison, and all I got was the stupid t-shirt. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's it. It's like you guys went order. simple, man. I feel like I'm the only one that's fucking. So I would want uh, a nice piece of grilled chicken with uh, a mushroom sauce over top of it, with some grilled mushrooms as well, and onions. I hold on with some grilled onions and mushrooms. <clears throat> um, that's also with uh, grilled asparagus and Brussels sprouts on the side, and uh, a Reuben sandwich as well. Because if I'm dying, I'm I'm stuffing my fucking orifice until yeah. Uh, a Reuben. I don't sandwich. know, man. You, you'll be sick at your stomach. Not oh, wanting to. Not good. Yeah, Hopefully, I, I puke when they fry me. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, I get a Reuben sandwich with that, <laughs> a cherry Pepsi, and a shot of tequila, and one menthol cigarette. And what? I don't think that they give you shots, dude. What the fuck are you talking, dude? About? Somebody got wine on theirs. Uh, don't you give me that? Yeah, somebody. If they don't do it, then fuck like it. Gold to these people, they ain't just. Yeah, gonna okay. Them if you if okay, so if this is just food and you're not doing the cigarette, I don't give a shit. Uh, if if the alcohol ain't included, I don't. I still don't give a shit. Give me a cherry Pepsi and uh, yeah, I'm I'm set. Oh, it's okay, what's gonna be your famous? <laughs> what's gonna be your last words? Blessed be. Okay. That way, my oh, gods man. have me into the Context. afterlife. You know, yours was very okay. extravagant. I'm not gonna say that it doesn't sound good because I'd eat the fuck out of it. But yeah, no, mine it is delicious, but... more along the lines of comforting me as I'm going to the hole, because yeah, no, that's, that's uh, that comfort me. Yeah. No, mine is my childhood meal that I used to eat when I got off the school bus. So I'm going to go to the hole with my the comfort yes. meal that I've got in my head. Well, one, I want to make it hard for them. And two, if this is the last thing I ever get to eat, I want it to be some of my favorite things. So, yeah. Mm. Well, now that everybody's <laughs> depressed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Well, boys, that was a good episode. I Don't let the ending of the episode set the tone for the week, ladies and gentlemen. We are inching closer to Halloween as well as halfway to Halloween. So, yes, we are. How many days are we? Right now? You give it at the top of the hour. Oh, days until Halloween were 247. We're getting as there. of today, getting which there. today is February the 26th. So, yeah, 247 days as of today. It's coming. Uh, the, the Boogeyman. Uh, candy. And Candy. Boogeyman. Candy. Candy's coming. Is there anything that you fellows want to take us out on today? Any last-minute news? Any upcoming episodes? What, what are we talking about? Do we want to keep I everything think a secret? Um, Still further notice? Uh, we've got... We wanna... Oh, okay. I think we keep it a secret. We keep it a okay. secret. Okay. We've got a lot we of stuff that we're tossing okay. around. Uh, a lot of stuff that's going to shape the podcast into more of what we want. And so I think that we keep it a secret for now. Just stay tuned. If you like anything that you've heard recently, it's only going to get better from here. Uh, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, keep it spooky out there.